welcome, welcome on this really beautiful day um, for this really important announcement. So my name is Joe Comerford. I have the honor of representing Hat Hatfield and 24 other cities and towns in the Massachusetts Senate, and I'm here with my Senate colleagues um, to make this announcement. Uh, so deeply grateful for their commitment to our farms and farmers. So in, as many know, because many have experienced this and have been at these farm tours in the last 11 days, in the wake of flooding, many individuals and businesses uh, and nonprofits came forward to say, what can I do? What can I do to support our farms and farmers? We've not seen a natural disaster like this for some time. They're talking about the kind of financial hardships, recognizing that farmers are both the heart and the spine of our valley here, the Connecticut River Valley, but also our economic engine. Also the people who care most about food security for our people and equity. Uh, also stewards of the land that sequesters carbon in addition to producing massive amounts of food, not only for our commonwealth, but I don't know about you, but I see our potatoes in Eastern Mass and I know they're in Vermont, New Hampshire, New York. I see our corn in many places around New England and beyond, of course. So we were called forward by our farmers to this moment, asking for our help. And today I'm really grateful to tell you that the Senate has heard that call uh, and we are here to offer some help. And our Senate president and chair of Ways and Means um, will offer more specifics. But first, I just want to recognize um, as we all swirled these last 11 days, I want to recognize the work of the Community Foundation of Western Mass, the United Way of Western and Central Mass, Franklin Regional Council of Governments. Yes, it's good. We should be applauding these gorgeous people. The USDA, where are the USDA friends who are here to offer technical, uh, ex technical expertise and loans, UMass Extension, Big Y, River Valley Co-op, the Neighborhood Food Co-op, TD Bank also here. Greenfield Savings Bank, and then the town governments themselves dealing with massive flood damage. And we have Diana Zinal, who's the chair of the Hatfield Select Board. Thank you, Madam Chair, for being here and for all your leadership. And of course, CISA. We needed CISA before and the bi-locals before this. And of course, Phil Corman and Margaret and their team at CISA have been mobilizing. And then statewide, we have the Healy Driscoll administration that has been stellar um, with Commissioner Randall, Deputy Commissioner Pitkoff, Secretary Yvonne Howe from Economic Development, um, the Governor, the Lieutenant Governor have all been out, as have our federal delegation, Congressman McGovern, Congressman Neal, Senator Warren, staff of Senator Markey. And, and it's because of how much we all love farms and farmers. Um, so I just want to recognize them and I want to recognize the Massachusetts Resiliency, Farm Resiliency Fund that's been set up. Uh, as a way for private individuals to help. But let's talk first about the public, oh, and let's talk now about the public support um, that the Senate is proposing with the leadership of our Senate President and our Chair of Ways and Means. I'm really grateful to Senator Gomez, to Senator Pacheco, to the office of Senator Oliveira for being here. We are 40 senators united um, to support farms and farmers, and I'd like to turn it over to the Senate President, to whom I'm very grateful uh, for her support now. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Great. Um, I'm really happy to be in Hatfield today, and I'm very happy that the sun is shining and it's not raining. Uh, I think we have all, all can agree we've had enough rain for a while. The Senate is supporting the farming communities, and I'm very pleased to announce how the Senate is supporting the farming communities that were devastated by the weather this falls in, in after the administration, as, as Senator Comerford has said. There has been such a concerted effort to show support, to give support, to get the information. Phenomenal display by all those from the Healy Driscoll administration who know all of you here as well, who have been in touch, assessing, getting the facts, getting the information. I want to give first an enormous thanks to Senator Comerford, who has welcomed us to our district, to her district, and who has made today's events possible, even on short notice. I look at all of you and I see, again, I can't help but mention the support that all of you give each other and give to us to help. It just is, uh, the, it's a force multiplier and it really, really, you really, really make a difference. 
I'd like to thank the senators who are joining us today, uh, Senate Chair of Ways and Means, Mike Rodericks, Senator Gomez, Senator Pacheco, uh, the office of Senator Oliveira, and, and to thank all of you for coming out here as well. And I have to acknowledge, uh, um, I still was about to call her Senator, but dire <laughs> Director Gobi, uh, my former go colleague, for, uh, for being here and for all of her work the past few weeks uh, and so aware of what the needs of the rural communities are. And I'd like to uh, thank the deputy commissioner, commissioner, uh, and everybody from the administration who's here taking the time, again, showing the support for the farmers, for the workers, so that we all band together. All of you who have been on the ground for weeks, just working so hard, and it is so appreciated. It will help all of us and clearly help all of the folks that are here. As we've seen, you know, uh, the flooding in this region has just been catastrophic. To say that it's like once in a generation may not even be appropriate. It's, it's been just that catastrophic. We know that these are the farms that are responsible for fresh and local food that shows up in not only the farmer's market here, but you know, in my area, I live in Ashland, west, a little bit west of Boston, uh, and we, we see some of your produce and your products. Uh, it ends up in farmer's markets, food banks around the entire state. These are where our community restaurants turn when they are looking for the freshest and best ingredients, and where our grocery stores look to stock shelves for the local options. These are the crops that families in these communities rely upon for their paychecks and that this region depends on to drive not only this regional economy, but the entire state economy as well. These are the farms, as we know, several days were flooded and they were wiped, uh, wiped away. A season's worth of labor and a year's worth of revenue. And in some cases, contamination of the soil may mean years of lost income and production. This is why I thank our colleagues in the Senate, Senator Comerford, Gomez, Oliveira, the Western delegation, for bringing this forward with such passion and with such advocacy because the Senate realizes, regardless of the district we represent, or the community that we live in, and you've heard us say this before, we are a commonwealth, and a commonwealth takes care of all of our residents. We come together to respond when any community in the commonwealth is devastated, and that is why we are here today. Today, we are announcing that we have added $20 million to our supplemental budget that should be released pretty much as we speak. It's report being reported out today. Then we will be debating it and passing it later on in the week. That $20 million will go to the farms impacted by the storms and natural disasters this year, including Western and Central Massachusetts farming communities that have been so severely impacted by the flooding. It will also be avail available to the stone fruit farms around the state that were so hard hit by the deep freezes and sudden freezes this spring. This will be flexible funding that would be administrated, administered by the Executive Office of Administration and the Mass Department of Agricultural Resources where the expertise lie, to be able to, to administer it in a fair and reasonable and equitable way. MDAR works so closely with all of these communities and knows where the need is immediate and where it is great. And that's why we are not waiting to, to the fall even to, to do this. We recognize the needs are now. It's a flexible in its timetable, and it would allow MDAR to give continued support over the many months to come to help these farms continue to deal with the severe impacts that we may not even know about today. 
So we have a responsibility to support the communities that grow the food on our tables, drive the agricultural economy of our state, and this flexible funding will accomplish just that. It will hope, re, hopefully re, make rebuilding a little bit easier for the farms that are picking up the pieces. It's also a reminder, and I have to mention because we can't forget about the fact that climate change is upon us. You just turn the TV on, put the news on, the temperatures that have reached record temperatures in the western part of our country that are traveling across our whole country and the entire globe. Climate change is upon us and we must keep working hard to provide solutions that will allow us to build not only a green economy but a green future. So again I want to thank Senator, Senator Comerford and her staff and the Central Mass and Western Mass delegation for their tremendous work for these affected communities. All the members that are joining us, it was a wonderful trip out here. Great, it's wonderful to be here. And to thank MDAR and all the other administration folks and folks that have been out here day to day supporting these communities. I wanna thank all of you for being here to help show support. And I'd like to turn it over to Senator Comerford now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Um, it is indeed good news, and I saw Director Gobi's head shake. Um, we miss you in the Senate, Anne, but you are here for a commonwealth out here in the rural community, and we're so glad that you're here. Friends, I have the opportunity and privilege of introducing to you next um, Senate Ways and Means Chair Senator Michael Rodericks. Those of you who know Senator Rodericks know that one of his most important issues is farms, farming, food security. Mr. Chair, we're glad you're here in Western Massachusetts. He drove all the way from Eastern Massachusetts <laughs> to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. I came here today really just to show my unequivocal support, not only to my great friend and colleague, Senator Comerford, who has been uh, just an amazing leader since the floods happened here in the Connecticut River Valley. Um, she has been constantly on the phone, texting me, <laughs> Um, never too often, yeah, never too often um, ensuring that we would step up to the plate when the time came. And of course, to Senate President Spilka, who uh, gave me the directive, get it done. Um, and we're happy that getting it done is something we're going to do in the Senate. Uh, this afternoon, we will be uh, releasing a uh, Senate supplemental budget that will contain $20 million uh, for the farms that are affected uh, by this funding. Um, it'll be um, what, something that we call a, a reserve fund within the Executive Office of Administrative Administration and Finance that will be managed by MDA, Mass Department of Agricultural Resources. And um, I've had many conversations about this already also with Commissioner Randall, with Governor Healy, with Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, and the entire, the entire state uh, wants to step in to ensure that we can do whatever we can uh, to help and support the farmers here in the Connecticut River Valley. So. Um, continue count on our continued support uh, and I just hope and wish you can salvage some of your crop uh, this year thank you thank you Mr. Chair. thank you so much thank you um, and now we have the real privilege friends of hearing of some farmers and farms that were affected we're here on the Smirowski land um, and it was Bernie uh, who phoned uh, Elena um, my district director uh, when the rain started falling and said, you've got to understand what's happening out here. So Bernie lit the fire in us initially, um, and we're so grateful to him for his continued advocacy. Many of the farm, actually, if you're a farmer, um, raise your hand, because you've been in these fields. Thank you, we're so grateful for you. You've been showing up, um, you've been showing up day after day after day as people like me come through and want to understand how to help you. Um, and so we're grateful that you're doing that on top of every other darn thing you're doing. And of course, we in the Senate are not alone and in Western Massachusetts, the senators are not alone. I heard Ben Clark um, mention Natalie Blay's name on the way down. So Rep Blay has been a fierce fighter for this as she is for so many good things. So we're in partnership out here for you. Now over to Bernie. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Welcome everyone.
I want to start by thanking everyone who's been involved in this truly Herculean effort over the past two weeks. Thank you to Joe. You really got the ball rolling. Well, you got to, the ball rolling. To get us to this point, that's you. <laughs> Governor Healy, Lieutenant Governor Driscoll and her, their staffs. Senate President Karen Spilka, Senator Michael Rodericks, Ag Commissioner Ashley Randall, Rural Affairs Director Amy Gobi, Ann Gobi, excuse me. U.S. Representative McGovern, State Reps Blaise, Abadosa, and Kerry. As farmers, we love what we do. For many of us, farming has been a part of our lives for generations. It's in our blood. We are proud and resilient people. We want to grow a crop, sell it, and hopefully earn enough money to make a decent living. We hate being in this position, at the mercy of a natural disaster, losing all or a portion of our crop this year, unable to pay our bills. The last thing we want is to have to sell a portion of our farm to make ends meet. Many farms are already carrying large amounts of debt, including lines of credit, mortgages, equipment leases. This aid package announced today will assist all of us by providing financial resources without additional debt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. As we look ahead to the rest of the summer, we know that the crops that were flooded on July 10th are a complete loss. However, we don't know the full extent of the damage for the remaining crops that weren't originally flooded. We have experienced heavy rainfall since the 10th with an additional seven to eight inches of rain just this past Friday in Franklin County. This definitely will add to the number of acres lost due to disease and other damage resulting from excessive rain. Will potatoes have lenticels on them? Will Phytophthora spread throughout tomato, pepper, and vine crops in our fields? Will fruit trees sustain long-term damage due to saturated soils? Any of these factors will render these fruits and vegetables unmarketable. A lot of questions remain. Climate change has been a topic of conversation for many years as farmers find themselves on the front line. Farming is hard work on an easy day but climate change is making it more difficult. We want to steward the agricultural resources in this amazingly fertile riverbed. We are willing to partner with state and federal governments to be part of the solution. We also must acknowledge the importance of farming in the valley. It is an economic engine. Our ultimate goal is to keep growing food, sourcing it to local stores, sustaining jobs throughout the economic cycle, and feeding our neighbors. On behalf of all of us farmers, I want to thank you again for all you have done for us. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Bernie. Um, that was very moving. Uh, now, friends, I have the real privilege of working, welcoming up Mumat Awes, um, and he's here with members of the Somali Bantu New Family Farm Cooperative. Um, and that I met, we met these good folks in Northampton, Commissioner Randall, Deputy Commissioner, and I, uh, and we they were so great, helpful at telling their story. So please welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for having us. Uh, my name is Mamat uh, Awais. I'll be the translator for the new uh, Community Farming Cooperative, and CFC. Uh, a collective of Somali Bantu farmers uh, in the greater Springfield area. Um, there's about 20 plus families that travel over 20 miles uh, to Northampton and Hadley uh, to grow food. Um, and they've lost most of the crops they've planted this year and they're preparing for next year. Um, we have the people who funded, uh, who founded the cooperative, uh, Dero and Ibrahim, and they will be saying a few words about their loss. Um, uh, 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 
dibaatada ne gaarti beerta labada beer oo sida mamata nishe oo kala marka beeraha dan waa khasaareen marka waxa rabna ina oo wixii maash ka dhacay nishe ma thank you everyone for coming out i would like to tell you a little bit about what we lost in both of our farms yeah. thank you everybody who would like to tell uh to let you guys know a little bit about what we lost in both of our farms in northampton and hartley ayan la wi ko horu an biya gale beerahas oo aad oo dib wi u dhacay wixi bees ku la dhan macna an wa dhamaadeen marka wax ku yaal male an aranta ida macna wa beer mar walba la abuuray ama had la abuuray oo ku socdeen abuur marka oo shaqadoon wi la dhamaanan an wixi la garajeenayna dhamaadeen aya oo dhacay so two weeks ago we had both of our farms in northampton and hadley flooded and uh, we weren't done planting yet we still had a part of the land that was cover cropped that we were preparing to plant in a few weeks uh, after the flood happened so now they can't really plant uh, that part yet so marka waxa maanta en u jeeda wuji oo aad u quraxsan meeshan joo marka en en thank you president and and secretary so marka iyo wixii kale la shaqeeyna marka ma sinti dadka kale beera ka soo qayb gali ina dhibaatada dhacdi oo maanta loo joo ina wax laga qabto so it's thanking everyone that showed out uh, that came out the senators uh elected officials and uh we would like any support we could get from the losses we have gotten from the uh, flood marka wixi la arki i wixi oo markaas qasaaridi oo gaarti oo dadka state ka wixi ku shaqalay wa arkeen no tamtam beertu wa ku kunni warbixin wa ka bixin hadan saas oo kale marka in waxarna ina shaqada si had u socoto aad u faraxsanna so we had a great discussion with Commissioner Randall who came out to Northampton, the go through Northampton site. Uh, they saw what happened there and uh, yeah, we look forward to what will happen after this meeting. Marka and Magai Dero Abdullahi Allah Sorwa Ilubi and Magai Dero Abdullahi Wai and Community and Wai President. And my name is Dero Abdullahi and I'm the president of the cooperative. Marka and Wai Eligir Vice Kai Eligir Asayan Wai Kudara 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 And I'm gonna uh turn it over to the vice president for the cooperative marka wa ma sintin kulligin thank you thank you dama ma sintin de thank you everyone adi adan ka farasana ini sin la kulog galatu we are happy to meet everybody today magaga mel la ibrahim abdullah my name is ibrahim abdullah my dagana in fil kanaka uh, I live at, in Connecticut. Uh, we had a problem. And so uh, the problem we had, everybody who was farming, they were farming for their family, their community, and uh, the last day of um, accord would be uh, something that only they would know. I'm going to talk about my loss. Okay. Um, he's to help fund the community and he's uh, 76 years old. Uh, he has uh, about 10 kids and uh, grandkids in, uh, uh, with him. Uh, uh, West Springfield, uh, Hadley, uh, Northampton. So he farms in West Springfield, Hadley, and Northampton. Uh, so one of the helpful benefits of farming for him is just his health. So yeah, so he has high blood pressure, diabetes, and farming helps him with that. Uh, farming has allowed him to heal from that uh, better than medicine. And so whenever he farms, he makes sure all of his kids and grandkids have something fresh to eat. Uh, and the last one and uh, we'll be being able to sell to community members uh, uh, after we take care of our families and uh, 
but this year that would not be happening. And you're okay with it, ready to start next year. Hello. Um, I'd like to thank all the politicians um, for all their support and um, the $20 million, which is going to be very helpful to all the area farms. Um, again, my name is Jay Savage with Savage Farms in Deerfield, Massachusetts. And I'm a fourth generation farmer and um, we're sub we've, we've gotten about 150 acres of losses this year and the biggest problem is is looking towards the future not the long-range future but just the near future of what our quality is going to be like this year and um, the problems that all this rain is causing um, you know not only from the floods but from the just the excessive rain we're looking at quality problems now that are actually starting me to question whether or not we have a we have a marketable crop um, and that scares the hell out of me. Um, I'm a fourth generation and I'm hoping to have a fifth generation and would like to um, be able to move our business forward. Um, farming is like no other business. We all need to be profitable and we need to be successful. Um, the other thing I'd like to talk about very briefly is a solution to this whole problem. Um, we're receiving you know, large amounts of rain. Um, this rain shouldn't wipe us out every time. Like, we need to start looking at managing the rivers and managing the dams and having some type of a um, disaster program in place so that when these dams see large amounts and flooding rains coming that they're controlling the flows better. And so we're not just getting walloped and flooded and so we don't have to ask for disaster money every time it rains a few inches. Um, and I think it's, you know, it's, it's critical to our, our own business. It's critical to, you know, all the local farmers here in uh, Western Mass and uh, commercial agriculture is a real thing here. And um, I just, I, I thank you all for your support and um, hopefully we can move forward and, and not take on too much more losses. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. And I, I actually meant to thank, come up and thank um, Ibrahim and Diro and Mumat uh, for speaking. And I'm sorry that was ended abruptly, but thank you so much for sharing your words. And thank you to Michael Skillicorn uh, from Grow Food, who I think is still here, uh, who helped make this connection happen and on whose land um, you're farming. Friends, the last speaker, and thanks to our first responders and Ben Clark, who always seems to be at the right place at the right time. <laughs> Do you know Ben Clark pulled a car out of a ditch uh, during the Friday rain? Um, so I'm not really sure. We should always watch when Ben Clark is showing up, you guys. Um, here he comes. Okay. Um, uh, ben. Ben, we're just cheering you on and maybe, and maybe a little afraid of you. <laughs> and your powers. Um, okay, friends, we're going to close it out with Commissioner Ashley Randall. Many of you know Ashley. She is no stranger to us um, here. Uh, and many of us, um, when Commissioner Ra Randall and Deputy Commissioner Pitkoff were named to MDAR, many of us thought, thank God that Ashley and Witten are at MDAR for this moment. Please, Commissioner, please tell us about the scope of this. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Unfortunately, it's only appropriate that it's raining again after a devastating 11 days for our farming community. I'm here on behalf of the Healy Driscoll administration really to offer our sincere appreciation to Senate President Spilka, Senator Comerford, Chair Roderick, Senator Pacheco, Senator Gomez, the entire Senate delegation for their support in this time of need. 
It's critically important we come together in good times, but it's more important that we come together in bad times. And this has been devastating for our farming community in Western Mass and Central Mass. Over 75 farms have been impacted with that number continuing to grow. Over 2,000 acres lost across the valley and Central Mass and over 15 million in crop losses. And as we've heard today, this isn't only short term, it's long term. And those numbers are going to continue to grow as farmers face the long term impacts of what this rain has done to their crops. And we know in the fall, we'll see the disease pressures come to light. And so I'm very appreciative and the Healy Driscoll administration is appreciative of this long term outlook to be able to help our farmers against climate change and to be able to come together so quickly. It's really unprecedented to have local, state and federal delegation work together in partnership to come together so quickly to support our farming community, which is really a critical part of the fabric of Western Mass, of Central Mass, of Southeastern Mass and across the state. Our economy is built on our farmers. They're critical to helping with food security and coming out of the pandemic, we know that one in three individuals are food insecure. And so many of the farmers that are here with us today supply to the local food banks and food pantries. They're part of the healthy incentive program. So the benefits just continue and continue for the Commonwealth to be able to create a stronger and more resilient future going forward. So again, I would just like to express my deep appreciation to all the farmers that are here with us today and to the Senate delegation for all of your support of the farming community. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. So you heard it here, friends. We're here for the short term and we're here for the long term and it's gonna take all of us. And we're so grateful in the Senate to be part of that. And I'm so deeply proud and grateful to the leadership of the Senate and so glad to work in the Senate, at, especially at this moment. So thank you all so much for coming. I think our colleagues would be happy to do some, answer some questions, but maybe we should let the crowd disperse um, with gratitude to all of you for coming. Thank you.